Look at this video uh, for the setup that I will be using in this. There is a link in the text for this video. This video is about third order intermodulation. I have two signals, 100 kilohertz and 200 kilohertz below the notch. Right now I'm listening to the Perseus and I turn up the signal level in steps of 1 dB. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here we have intermodulation. And I continue upwards and it disappears. So it isn't intermodulation, this is digital feedback. The signal looks like this, it's about uh, one millivolt uh, peak for the combined signal. So both signals are half a millivolt. Or according to the spectrum analyzer, it's uh, minus 63 and a half dBm. Now, since this is digital feedback, uh, it will disappear if I add an antenna signal, so I turn on something from the antenna and this is enough uh, to make that disappear and looking at the spectrum analyzer uh, span 20 megahertz you can see that uh, there aren't very strong signals the uh, test signals I have here are much weaker than, no, not much, a little weaker than the antenna signals. So uh, this isn't a problem. This is not third order intermodulation. So I turn up the signal level of the two tones. And here we have something again. But with more signal it goes down. So I try to add more antenna signal and indeed it disappears. So we haven't reached third order intermodulation yet. And I bring up the uh, two signal generators. antenna signal but now it no longer helps so this is the point of uh, uh, third order intermodulation and I make it equal in strength with this pilot tone I have and then look at the oscilloscope like this so it's 87 millivolts or hmm span 1 megahertz uh, Minus 22 dBm for the two tones. That produces uh, intermodulation at the level where I have my test tone. Now I'm listening to this one, uh, which is the latest firmware, but with no modification on the HF+. Plus. Uh, this is the old firmware and also the same hardware as here. And we can see intermodulation here and I turn up the level. I have to go 10 dB up and then down a bit.
Well, this is the level I read need. And uh, I try to add antenna signal to find out whether this is something with the ADC or whether it is from the analog cards. Well, something automatic magic switches here and it doesn't affect the desired signal. And it doesn't affect the noise floor much either. I can look at the uh, signal to noise ratio, the yellow track here, which when I remove the signal generators uh, is close to zero. And then I turn up the level. Sorry, I'm not listening there. So now I'm listening to this one and look at the signal to noise measurement while turning up the two tones. It's like that. Well, here I have something. I add antenna signal. And it disappears. So that's digital feedback. Uh, more of the two tones. And more antenna. And here we have other problems. So, uh, this cannot be cured by more antenna signal. So more of the two tones. That was far too much. Something like this. And this is minus 36 dBm. And if I look here, I don't see so much because the antenna signal here is fairly strong. So I have to... something like this. And you can see the two tones are not dominating. There are many things here. listening to this one and turn the I switch off the antenna and go down with the two tones to see if I see something of this digital feedback no I don't So this is the level, and it's very similar in this unit, which has the pre-selector. So I take some kind of average between them. Maybe like this. And I'll add antenna signal. And 
we have saturation here and this one is a little bit less saturated but and you can see here this is and the two tones are not visible here maybe yes so uh, this is third order intermodulation and the level is minus 32 I don't care about decimals minus 32 dBm the level of the reference signal is minus 115 dBm according to the perceives and that is with a setting of minus 82 here uh, I change it by 30 dB uh, like that and then I see here minus 87 and can I see that here And that's also what the spectrum analyzer indicates. I go up another 30 dB. Now it shows minus 57. And that's what the Perseus also is saying. So uh, the signal is 60 dB below minus 57. So the value I have here uh, includes also nearly the same amount of noise as the amount of the signal. So the noise floor is minus 117 dBm. So from the measurements I can evaluate IP3. These were the signal levels. This is the level of the third order intermodulation product and this is how I do it and I get plus 25 dBm for the Perseus plus 4 dBm for the old firmware and plus 10 dBm for the latest firmware and this 6 dB difference is that I can set the gain distribution more cleverly uh, and then add an external attenuator while in firmware 1.2 all that attenuation has to be done inside the chip and that creates some degradation of IP3 and this was all uh, for a 100 kilohertz separation which means the uh, interferers are uh, within the passband of the uh, HF plus as you have seen now I have set the two tones to 2 megahertz and 4 megahertz uh, below the signal frequency so that means that for the unit which has the pre-selector one of the tones goes outside the pre-selector filter and I can just look at the signal here and turn so this is the point for the 1.2 firmware and I bring up antenna signal to see if I can get some comfort from that and the answer is no so the level for the 1.2 firmware so this is minus 36.1 well minus 36 dBm and that happens to be the same that I observed at close range with the 1.7 firmware uh, without pre-selector I can get a little bit more signal like this 
minus 30 dBm. But one of the signals now is outside the pre-selector filter, so I don't see anything in this unit uh, where there is the pre-selector. I have to get more signal. Like this. And then the level is minus 23 dBm. And that is the same that I see in the parasols, I think. I add antenna signals to verify. Then the HF plus crashes, more or less. And here the parasols, I have to... This is the point of saturation for the parasols. And uh, I reduce the antenna signals. And uh, let's see, that was 10 dB. One, two, So this is another story with another video, the relation between the radius on antenna signals. But for uh, conventional measurement of third order intermodulation, uh, the Perseus and the HF plus with this preselector uh, perform similarly, and that is with test signals at 3.2 and 5.2 and looking for interference at 7.2. Of course, these results depend on the frequency separation, but I think generally this gives a picture about what is IM3 in these radios.